I'm Dr. Jason Lope with Nevi Health, and today I'm going to show you uh, one of the techniques that we use here to accomplish a lumbar adjustment, or that is the lower back adjustment. The first thing we do before we go and adjust somebody, we always want to assess them to determine and find out which joints are restricted um, so we know which joints we can adjust and adjust the right joints. And that's very important is to adjust the correct joints. I don't just want to take and, and adjust every joint in the body, but I want to find where that scar tissue is in that restriction and get it to move correctly. So I'm going to show you how we do that here. Stephanie, turn to your left for me, please. So I'm going to go through and palpate or feel the spine and feel how it's moving. Go and slouch for me, please. So as I'm coming through here, I'm pushing on each of these joints of the spine and I'm checking the mobility in all different directions. So I'm going to rotate it, push it to the side, uh, check it front to back, and feel where I find the restriction within her spine. And we're going to check that in both ways. We're going to go through and check to the right side and to the left side. And when I'm feeling Stephanie's spine, there's one specific joint that sticks out right here that doesn't move very well. And that joint is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this joint very specifically and get it to move better. This joint is where their scar tissue restriction is, what we talked about in one of the previous uh, videos. Stephanie, what I'd like you to do is kick your feet to the side, and then you're going to lay on your right side for me right there. Now, as I bring her down, again, I want to make sure I adjust this joint very specifically. Um, so I'm going to adjust her for purposes here on her side. Now, again, there's many other techniques that we use to get these joints to move, not just this specific procedure. So Stephanie, let's take this arm and put it right there. Now one's going to go here and let your knee turn down right like that. So I'm going to get the joint to a spot of tension. And what I'm going to do is give it an impulse or a little bit of a thrust to make that move and break free some of that scar tissue. Now, how are you doing here, Stephanie? Okay? Good. Perfect. So I want you to relax your back for me the best you can right here, okay? Now, I want you to take a deep breath and let it out. And relax your whole back all the way down a little bit further right there. Just like that. Very good. Now I'm going to help you sit back up. So, as I go through and I adjust the spine, I felt the joint move underneath my hand, and I also heard it at the same time. Each time that we adjust something, we want to come back and check that joint to see how much more motion we got into it. Go ahead and slouch again for me, please. So as I push down here and recheck this joint, the degree of mobility in that specific joint that I adjusted is way better. So over time, the ultimate goal is to get that joint to function normal. Sometimes that takes a couple treatments, sometimes it takes six to eight, sometimes even more, depending on how much scar tissue is in there, how long it's been, age, trauma, all of those things. The ultimate goal for us is to help to restore, one, get rid of pain, but then to re restore normal mobility, joint function, and musculature function, and then build the strength and stability around it. So that right there is one way we do a, a lumbar adjustment here at Nevi Health. And again, there's many other techniques that we use here uh, between all of our chiropractors. Um, so hopefully that helps to educate you a little more on what a, a lumbar adjustment is.